Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. I wanted to make this quick announcement video. RetroPie 4.4 was released today, April 14th, 2018. Now this brings Raspberry Pi 3 B plus support to it. They have upgraded from Jesse to Stretch and they recommend to do a fresh install. I wouldn't recommend upgrading from Jesse to Stretch through the RetroPie menu. Go ahead and download it from the website. I am almost finished flashing it here. If you're not sure how to install RetroPie, I have tons of videos. I'll leave a link in the description. Shows you how to set it up. Really easy to do. I'm using Etcher here. So in this video, I just wanted to go over the changes here, and I'm also gonna move over to my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and show you how to get Wi-Fi up and running. It's pretty easy, but a lot of people want a video tutorial, so I'll do that now. We're gonna scroll down here. Changes since RetroPie 4.3, they've added support for Raspbian and Stretch, so now it'll work on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. They've added basic support for the ASUS Tinkerboard. You cannot download a standalone image. You have to install this on top of another operating system. Basic support with RetroPie means it might boot up, but a lot of stuff's not gonna be working. RetroArch was updated to 1.7.1, built with video recording support via FFmpeg. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. I will do a tutorial video on this if it turns out okay. Lots of the cores have been updated. You can go ahead and read through this I'll leave a link in the description for you. Not really many changes here, just the upgrade to Stretch, but it's good to see a new release of RetroPie. It's been a little while. So if you're interested in running RetroPie 4.4, I definitely recommend starting from scratch. I know it's a bummer if you got a lot of ROMs on a good image, but you can always get those over there pretty quickly. You can always try to upgrade, but remember, it might break. With all that out of the way, we're gonna move over to my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and I'm gonna show you how to get Wi-Fi up and running in here. It's really easy to do. I would show you some other things here, but not much has changed. They do have a lot of cores that have been updated. I need to go through this and see if anything runs a little better than it did in 4.3, and that might take a little time. So let's go ahead and move over to my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and we'll get Wi-Fi up and running. All right, so here we are with RetroPie 4.4 on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I'm gonna show you how to set up Wi-Fi. It's really easy. Go to the RetroPie menu. Scroll down to the bottom to Wi-Fi. It's actually gonna prompt us to set it up. You don't currently have your Wi-Fi country set in. Do you wanna set it up now? Yes. From the Raspi config here, we're gonna scroll down to localization options. Change Wi-Fi country. From here, we need to find the country we are in. I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna find USA or United States. United States, Wi-Fi country set to US, click OK. We're gonna finish. Yes, I would like to reboot. Now that we've set the Wi-Fi country, we'll go back into the RetroPie menu, Wi-Fi, and we should be prompted to connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna click OK. Got a ton to choose from, just choose your Wi-Fi network here. Put in your Wi-Fi password and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it for setting up Wi-Fi in the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. RetroPie 4.4 should be pretty awesome. Like I mentioned, there's not a lot of changes, but a lot of the cores have been updated. If you're interested in learning how to set up RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi, I'll leave a link in the description. I've done a bunch of videos. I also have videos on how to overclock the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or the Raspberry Pi 3. I'll leave links in the description. Really appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead, test out RetroPie 4.4 on your Raspberry Pi 3B+. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like always, thanks for watching.